Hey everyone, and welcome to how to create a crane operator app in augmented reality. To begin, let's go down here to where we have our Easy AR folder, prefabs, and drag in the Easy AR startup prefab into the scene. This is basically the main prefab that Easy AR will be running on. This controls all the rendering, all the image tracking, all the, all the good stuff. So in the Easy AR startup, in the parent prefab, let's paste in our key that we generated on the website here for our project, like so. And that's what we need to do for that part. So now we can just delete the main camera as Easy AR already has a camera in this prefab that it will be using. And now it's time to start with our image targets. Now an image target is basically a specific image such as this one or this one that we're going to be using, this one for the crane on the left and on the right for the container. And basically, once you're using the app, the camera can identify these images in the real world, such as if you print them off on a piece of paper, and it can figure out the position, the rotation, and the scale, and then render models or particle effects or whatever you want on top of these. And for our specific images, we'll be having one for the crane, one for the container, one for the truck, and one for the UI dashboard that we'll be actually using to control the crane. So we can close these. And to do that, simply like before, go to the Easy AR folder, prefabs, and this time we go primitives, and we want to drag in the image target prefab here. Now, at the moment, it's pretty bland. We can double click on it to focus on it. And as you can see, here we are. What we need to do now is over on the right, we need to fill in this information on the image target behavior. For the path, we want to link it to the image target we're using. Now, if we go to our assets folder, and go to the streaming assets folder. This is where we're going to be putting all of our image targets. Now, with Easy AR, you have to create this specific folder called streaming assets and place your JPEG images in there. This is a folder that Easy AR can identify and easily find once the game runs. So it's easy that way. So we have our four image targets container marker, crane marker, dashboard marker, and truck marker. Now, if we go to our image target, Let's just say we want to start with the crane. For our path, we'll simply call this crane marker dot jpeg because in the path you have to enter in the file extension. And down here in the name, we can actually just enter in the actual name of it. So we'll just enter in crane marker. For the size, um, we'll just enter in 5x5. Five five. Now, what the size is, is the size is just a reference really for when you're working in the engine. This pink square here can just correlate. It just correlates to the actual size and shape of the actual image target in the real world. So if you have a model that's about this size that you place on top, it'll appear to cover the entire image marker. Whereas if it's only half the size of this pink square, then it'll only cover half the image marker. Pretty simple. Um, now over here in storage, we need to change that from app to assets, as our image targets are located in our assets folder. And for the loader, we need to drag in the image tracker base behavior script. And that can be found over here in the Easy AR startup. We can drag in the image tracker prefab, the object, into here. And it's now linked. So this image target is now linked. And whenever the app sees the crane marker image target uh, in the real world, it will render whatever is a child of this image target on top of it. So great. Now what we need to do is we need to let's just simply rename this to image target underscore crane. Let's reorientate. We can use WSD to move around. Right click to look around. And what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate that three times to create our other three image targets. So let's duplicate this. Um, we'll call this one over to the left. This will be our truck. So on to our own truck. Let's change that to truck marker dot JPEG. And truck marker. Um, I'll go through now and do it as well for the container and the dashboard. And there we go. We have our full image targets already set up and they're ready to be used in the app. Now we just need to create the models, create the logic behind that. In the next in the next lesson, we're gonna actually be starting on our crane, inserting the model, setting up the object ready to be scripted. See you then.